Hey, welcome to another video from Skinny Medic. I have a really cool training aid here. Uh, this is a gunshot wound simulator by Trauma FX, and it provides feedback for you, lets you know that you've found the right spot that you're providing galls, and then how long you've been holding pressure. Counts down for three minutes. So this is a really cool training aid, and I want to kind of show it to you guys. So before I actually demo this mannequin, I do want to go over where we actually wound pack on the body. So we wound pack in the shoulders and the pelvis area. This is where we can't get a tourniquet up high enough. So if we have major bleeding in the arm, squirting bright red blood, you want to put a tourniquet on it. But the problem comes in if you can't get a tourniquet up high enough to control the bleeding. So we would use wound packing. Probably want to use hemostatic agents if you have it. If you don't, you can just use regular gauze, but hemostatics works much better as far as compression and bleeding control. So we'll take a little bit closer look here at the gunshot wound simulator. We do have a port here that we could attach a hose, put in uh, simulated blood into this mannequin. I, I like the Halloween blood. It's a good texture um, and has a good feel to it. But I'm not going to do that for this particular mannequin because this mannequin does not belong to me. This belongs to the school that I teach at, that we do first care providers, shop the bleeding courses, and they purchased this mannequin. And so I borrowed it to show on camera. So Trauma FX, if you're watching this and you'd like to send one of these simulators for my channel to use in future videos, I'd appreciate it. Just a little selfless plug there for me. So the cool thing about this mannequin is going to give us feedback. So if we're going to wound pack this wound, we need to know where the source is coming from so we can put the hemostatic agent. Hemostatic agents such as combat galls and sea locks are preferred when you're wound packing. So we come in here, we can see blood coming from this area. We hold pressure. I can feel the artery down in there. You can feel the artery spasming, maybe even pulsating. Uh, you can feel blood coming past your fingers. So when I get in there, I find the source, we have a red light that appears. This red light is going to stay red for three minutes because that's how long we should hold pressure using a hemostatic agent. So if you've got good pressure held, the red light comes on. The moment you go off, the red light goes off, and then when you get back on it, the clock starts ticking again. So let's see if we can practice with it. So just to add just a little bit of effect, I'm going to put some saline, just get some good fluid. You can see where it's coming out here, but we'll get some good, add a little bit of fluid in there for us. So we normally would try to use a hemostatic agent when you're wound packing, such as combat gauze or sea locks. But for this particular video demo, and I'm going to use some NAR Estrel gauze, which you can purchase at medicalgearoutfitters.com. Open it up for you guys it back and then we can start pulling the gauze out here start wound packing like this because everything stays nice and neat in your packaging and you can pull it out to start your wound packing the mannequin did leak a little bit where I poured water in it coming out the hose here so that's what this water's from so let's see if we can do this so put it in there okay so you saw one my saline come out here I've got a red light on if you can see it right there so now I've got the source I usually take a little bit on this finger and I run it down into there. So there, my red light didn't come off. When you are wound packing, you want to kind of get all those little crevices. And I'll show you a little better picture here. You've got a ton of crevices all the way around. Let me get this in there. So I'm trying to get it all down in the crevices. I think I've got as much as I can get crammed in there. This guy would really not be liking me right now. So, I've got pressure held. I'm going to just turn it so you guys can see the light a little bit better. So, we've wound packed all the way around, getting the crevices east, north, west, south. Oh, crap. I'll let go. So, let go. Three minutes starts over. When you're holding pressure like this, you do want to put some good solid pressure onto the wound here. So like I would be trying to use my body weight down on this to hold pressure. All right, so three minutes later, we have a green light. So we know we've held pressure long enough. We've held good constant pressure for that three minutes. So I'm gonna let go, lights go off. Now in the real world at three minutes, I'd wanna reevaluate this extremity here. We don't wanna see any kind of blood pulling up, any kind of um, bubbles or anything like that. If we don't, and it's nice and dry, then we can go ahead and put a pressure bandage on. You can put Israeli, Elias, whatever pressure bandage, an H wrap, whatever you want to do to hold this up. So with a hemostatic agent, at least three minutes of good pressure. 
get you a nice good look down in there so this would be your permanent cavity from the gunshot wound so if this video helps you never know when you'll be the first responder bring the right gear and the right training all right so we'll take a little bit closer look here at the trauma egg so we'll take a little bit closer look here at the trauma fx gunshot wound so we'll take a little bit closer look here at the trauma fx so we'll take a look. So we'll take a little bit closer look here at the Trauma FX Gunshot Wound Simulator. Man, that's a mouthful.